we are we are live. So Jason Hole, Door Grow Show here, and I'm hanging out with Peter and Brad from BoxBrownie.com. Say hello, hey, guys. Hi, hey. hey, everyone. And Thanks for having us. You guys are hanging out in Texas right now, but you guys have these really cool accents. So why don't you tell everybody where you're from? Uh, we're, we're Australians. We thought we'd come over on a plane and, and see boxbrownie.com see how texas is looking right now is it still pretty wet yeah. down there um well not we we got to houston uh only yesterday so no it's been pretty good weather and prior to that we we're in austin and dallas so now we've we've missed it all we we're just looking at the aftermath today driving around um it's pretty pretty horrific some of that yeah. flooding very sad for lots of uh homeowners oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah we just had uh we had uh, Stephen on over there, Stephen Rosenberg from Empire, and he was he was kind of giving us the rundown. And it sounds pretty pretty crazy watching watching the updates. Well, cool. Well, I'm excited to have you guys on today. And um, in preparation, Thanks. I was checking out your site, blown away by some of those images, and and it just looks really cool. So maybe starting out, you could just give us a little bit of background on you and how you came up with this business and this idea and and then we can get into what you guys do for people sure well yeah my name is brad i'm the co-founder of boxbrandy.com um i've been a real estate photographer for over 15 years and there comes a time when you have to you can no longer edit your own photos and as a photographer you can shoot more if, if you end up outsourcing and at the time, I, I tried numerous websites and, you know, all across the globe and there was just no easy solution. Um, so I really thought, hey, I'd love to try and do something about this. And it's sort of what we created with uh, an online marketing tool for estate agents, photographers, builders and developers where we just polish marketing material and just make it really, really easy to have access to this sort of thing. Okay, cool. And um, do you want to chime in and share a little bit about yourself too? Yeah, so uh, my name is Peter Shravmade and I came on board, what, about 18 months ago. I've been a real estate agent uh, for my life, as long as I can remember it, <laughs> in um, short-term, long-term leasing um, and uh, sales. I've even done a stint in commercials. So I've kind of um, seen all spectrums and, and run offices. I guess um, the, the premise behind Box Brownie is so much of the marketing that we see on MLS or wherever it may be is is done quite poorly in my in my opinion that there can be so much done to that marketing for not much money and um, that that's really behind the box brownie drive is that we think we can and that it doesn't really matter where you're at what you're doing whether you're selling whether you're leasing um, whether you're owner of the business whether you're the admin um, or office staff member, we think we can take what you're looking at at the moment and make it look heaps better for as low as $1.60. Yeah, I was really blown away by looking at, at the website. And the costs, I know, because I have graphic designers on my team, I know how expensive editing can be. And so I, I was surprised at the low pricing. But some of the, the Photoshopping or the photo wizardry that you guys are showcasing on your website, it just really looks unbelievable. Like it looks, it's looks incredible. Is that like, just like the very best examples or is this kind of typical of the work that you guys put out? <laughs> oh, obviously we like selecting good examples, <laughs> but we think it's fairly typical of what we put out there. I mean, <laughs> in all honesty, we're not, <laughs> we're not going to show you our worst <laughs> jobs, <Sure>. are we? <laughs> Got it. Um, but look, our output quality is really high. Um, we have quality assurance people to check that. So, I mean, at the very basis of what we do, it sort of starts starts out as just an input. It comes through to us. We check it on the way in to make sure the job matches the product. And then we check it on the way out before it hits you. Um, so, you know, we're quite proud of the, the quality of, of editor we've put together and, and the edits that they're doing, that they're actually relevant to the properties that are, are being placed under them anyway. I'd love to add yeah. there that, uh, you know, our clients have a free rework option. So if they're not happy, they can hit a button and, and just make changes on the fly. Um, and our quality control team, we're quite fussy too. So if we see something we don't like, yeah. 
we'll just hit a button and do it ourselves. If we know we can do better, we'll produce that and send that straight back to our clients, even if they don't even ask for it. So yeah, so some of the pictures were incredible. You know, you're showing like on your site that people can, do you guys have an app that they can just draw? How, how does this process kind of work? I was really like, I was digging through everything and I was like, let me share my initial impression, right? So I looked at your site, I looked through everything and then I went and I showed my wife. So I was like, look at this, like look what they're doing with these properties, especially the inside photos and the furniture and stuff. And, and her initial reaction was funny. She said, could they make those happen in real life for us too? <laughs> like, could they? If only it was that easy. <laughs> could they just give us all this furniture? This looks amazing. And um, so there's. I'd, a, I'd never be cleaning my bedroom again. So, I would never have to make my bed. So it's <laughs> virtual. Money. Yeah, exactly. It's not just that you guys are are adding cool stuff and making these photos, you know, look, you know, help people envision what's possible in in these vacant or empty properties, or in spicing up you know, what some of the, the kind of crappy photos that, you know, real estate agents might be taking with their cell phones or whatever. I mean, it's really, it's really incredible, but I think, um, like my initial reaction, what I said is I said, looking at these, this is kind of scary. Like, is anything real anymore? That was like my initial reaction because I was like, somebody with malintent could go in and like get some photo that looks amazing and they could, somebody could show up at the property and be like, this looks nothing like this place. But anyway, it's a testament to your work um, and a testament to uh, the, the quality of what you guys are doing. And I think it's just really cool that somebody could take these photos of a vacant property and they can then put it up on the, on the market and showcase possibility as far as, as far as that. And this also goes for even like remakes and remodels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, the the first product that you were talking about there, the virtual staging product, um, we we worked long and hard on that. We have CGI artists. Um, they map out the room in 3D and then they place furniture into it. Realistic furniture, they're all high res. Um, it comes back to you at the same resolution that you submit it. You're given a choice of uh, styles of furniture. You might choose modern, contemporary, urban, industrial, Scandinavian or farmhouse are the four that we've got at the moment. Or you may have your own style where you can upload a image from Google and say, I would like it to look like this style. Um, and we'll do our very best to cover it um, as, as far as that's concerned. You may even draw on the images as to where you want the furniture and we'll duplicate that. In fact, if you uh, visit right now boxbrownie.com forward slash virtual um, hyphen furniture, you will see examples of where people have drawn the furniture in that they've wanted and then we've staged it accordingly. The second product that you're talking about, virtual renovations, that's brand new. Um, and to the extent that we will take a unfinished room and we will not only furnish it, we'll add um, the fixtures into it as per the spec of what you would like to do as far as the renovation is concerned. So let me give you an example. Yeah. Um, I think you call them flippers. Yeah, you have a flipper uh, who, mm -hmm. who will see potential in a property that maybe no one else does. They will purchase that property. Before they've even, even settled on the property, they can send us the images of the unfinished pro property. They can send us the floor tile that they're wanting to add. They can send us the Bosch appliances that they're looking to install into the kitchen. They can send us, and I don't mean send the actual appliance, I mean send us the Google links to them. <laughs> Please don't send us appliances. Um, <laughs> Right. <laughs> they, can, they can even send us the um, color scheme from your local painter that you're intending to color the wall. We will finish off the, the room itself at, to your spec. We'll add the furniture into it and we'll send it back to you. And there you've got something that you can instantly market the property to either sell or to, to rent, you know, in whichever way you want to. That's incredible. So, I mean, picking different styles of furniture. So if we ever actually end up getting absorbed by AI into the matrix, then um, you guys are going to be my interior decorators. Fair enough? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> deal. Cool. Um, um, I might be mad that doesn't happen. <laughs> All right. So, so what are some of the other products and, and stuff that you have? Because you've got more in your lineup, I think. Yeah, so way back at the basis, we've got an image enhancement product, and that's one dollar sixty US. It comes back to you overnight. Our, our oh, time frame is twenty four hours. Say that again. Right? What is it? Yeah, 
at the start, the the first, I guess, the basis of how Box Brownie began is an image enhancement edit. It's a dollar sixty. Um, it comes back to you overnight, and the, the the image enhancement edit is to take any photo that either a professional or an or an amateur photographer has taken and make it look one thousand times better for MLS. So, I mean, Brad will tell you. Yeah, like so. I suppose I've been shooting property yeah, fifteen years, and and I suppose. I used to put, I don't shoot anymore, but you know, I used to put all my images through. So every every edit, I guess, a professional photographer would do gets done to your images for a dollar sixty each. Things like if you shot on an overcast day, we'll replace the sky. We can green the grass if you want, lighten, brighten, all that sort of thing. We've got sort of preset edits that we'd like to call it that that really just polish your image and just show it in its best light. And that's the edit that is particularly big amongst property managers because they find themselves in scenarios where they don't have the budget to to get a pro photographer, or they don't have the time frame. They're out at the property at you know right now, and they have to get it to the market by the weekend. So they're, they're forced to take the photos themselves. Um, you know, take the photos will make them look amazing overnight, and then you've got them up online. And then what you do from that point forward is up to you. But you've at least got the starting point. And that, that's the basis behind the image enhancement edit. Um, our second biggest seller in the US is one that we call a twilight conversion or in Australian lingo, a day to dusk conversion, where we take an existing property that has been shot in daylight and we convert it to twilight. We will activate the lights in the house. We'll give it a, a, a beautiful sunset. Um, we'll darken the front of the house so that it, it appears as though it's at twilight. And I suppose, you know, these these day to dust conversions, we know um, are clicked on more than the daytime shots. So the, the dust shot becomes your hero shot for MLS. That's the one that you would use. It's a $4 edit. It returns to you overnight. There's not too many realtors, brokers, agents that I know that wouldn't select that edit as their hero shot for sales or for rental. Um, it especially helps on things like or mm, mm. um, you've got one that you just want to stand out from the rest. Like as a hero, yes, you know, it, it's it's proven to be clicked more. So if you can spend, you know, $4 and, you know, make that cover image pop, you know, you're going to have a better click rate. Yeah. Mm. So I was really impressed with those. Um, so, I mean, the, the beauty of it is it's, it's showcasing the magic of light. And if you get too dark, you know, at night, things can look really cool at night with lights and stuff like that. But if it's too dark, the photo is not very effective. And then if it's just daytime, you know, that's okay. And you guys, I can see, make it look beautiful in blue skies. But yeah, there is something magical about that time period where you're getting to that presence of lights and seeing the glow of windows. And you're seeing, you know, the sky is kind of in that twilight stage. It really does look pretty impressive seeing you take a photo and change it to that. Yeah, and I think more than that is emotive. Like, uh, the reality is your, your tenants, your prospective purchases are in houses surfing on their iPads and they're trying to imagine the space. And, and this is also a point I'd make on the virtual staging. They're trying to imagine themselves in the space. They're trying to imagine their furniture in space. They're trying to imagine what they're doing in the afternoon in that space. So when you create this magic twilight conversion, people are imagining themselves out by the pool having a beer while the sun goes down, and that that gets them to the property. That thought, uh, there, there may not be anything wrong with the day to dusk shot, um, it, well, the, the daytime shot, but the twilight shot is the one that really pulls on the heartstrings and says, hey, I can imagine myself and my prospective partner out there having a beer. And, and I think that's the idea of the twilight conversion. Fantastic. Um, let me tell you about the image, um, the item removal. So this is another one, a big one in property management. Um, if you've ever been, as as I have and as he has, to a property, a squatter's property, let's call them that. I'm sure you understand what a squatter's property sure. is. Sure. Just torn apart, there's stuff everywhere. Um, one of the edits that we have is an item removal edit where we can take things out. And it doesn't just have to be a squatter's property. It could be your tenant doesn't care that you're there shooting the property. So they've left clutter all over the bench. Bench tops, bathrooms, you know. Wherever it is. There's products everywhere. You know, we can remove it, make it look like it's almost just vacant within reason. You know, leave, you know, leave it so it still looks lived in. However, 
really clean up the shot and the before and afters just honestly speak for themselves. Yeah. So, and, and item removal can be anything. It can be, it can, it can even come down to things that are different to your, to your tenant being there. Like um, you might be shooting an apartment building and there's a skip out the front and there's a big garbage truck or whatever. And you obviously can't move that. We, we can take it out of the image for you so that you can, you know, your photographer or whoever it is doesn't have to come back in, in five hours and shoot it again when the skip's gone or even two Even days. like the amount of times I've been shooting property and let's say it's tenanted, of course, and the tenant's like, hey, you know, the car battery's flat, we can't move the car. Well, we can just item remove it out of the driveway and it just wow. looks like the home you know, has no car. So, so that, even if they have like a highly offensive statue sitting inside their house, you can say, hey, can we just delete this and it's we've gone. Got, we've got an example of that. If yeah, you go to our website, our website. Yeah, you go to our website and select item removal, you'll see an example of an offensive um, an offensive painting. painting. I, I don't find it offensive, but some people okay. might. It's on the wall and we'll just take it out rather than risk. Um, right. Somebody going, I'm not going to visit that property because there's a. It terrible can turn thing. people off. Like sure. it's it's been proven, and the amount of times, yeah, it's happened to me in the past. I think that way you just eliminate, you know, any bad vibes. Yep. Sure, you'd much rather have people say, "Oh, yeah, hey, babe, do you remember that really cool property we were looking at online that had the really." cool photography instead of oh no it was actually the one that had the naked statue that was doing something with somebody else <laughs> yeah so that, that one oh yep. yeah yeah so yeah, yeah it, it certainly a has idea. a different impression when people talk about yeah. the property yeah so um it is still in the image enhancement we do drone editing as well so if you have a drone shot you want the you want the lot to show out um, or you want to highlight the property, or you want to drop pin the location and show where the nearest schools are. We, we do all of that as well. Uh, Shows all the landmarks, and in, in the one shot, you can really see what's, you know, where you're buying into the suburb. There could be a local shopping centre, school, playground, etc. cetera. Um, anything that's going to grab any heartstrings. Mm. That's cool. So is there any, um, so if they don't have a drone, is there any way of doing anything like that, like pulling from Google Maps or anything similar to showcase something? Look, we, we have tried. It's not really preferred because usually it's, you know, all low resolution. Yeah. Um, and, of course, we can only edit as good as the image we're supplied. So, right. you know, drone drone photography is paramount. And, and the whole idea about our service is to polish your marketing material. And you want it looking the best. You don't want it looking mediocre or, or average. So the, we don't recommend it. Yeah, yeah, the price of has come way down. People, anyway. Oh, yeah. Well, well that's, that's it. And... Um, you highlight a great issue. So one of the things about photography is a lot of the photographers are able to do their own enhancement, which is fine, um, even though they a lot of them use our service as well. But the, the drone users, uh, because drones are relatively new, a lot of them don't come with enhancement and you don't realise it. They've just sent the, the drone up there and it looks amazing because you haven't seen it before, but it can look a thousand times better than what you get back. And that starts at like two dollars forty and goes up from there. So it's it's not going to break the bank. Not not many of our edits are expensive. Yeah, everything's yeah. literally wholesale prices. So you know, photographers use us all around the world, and they put their margin on top because that's that's how affordable we are. That's a, that's incredible. So property managers can can go submit their photos to you. The turnaround time is generally what. I guess it depends on product. Mainly overnight for most of our yeah. edits. For, for all of our edits, except for the virtual staging that we offer and the 3D floor plans, we haven't discussed floor plans yet, but the 3D floor plans that we have there, um, that's, they have 48 hours. Everything else we guarantee back in 24. But the reality is if you're submitting them um, at 5 p.m., you're, you're generally going to get them back overnight. Um the disclaimer to that would be if you're going to submit them on a Thursday where every man and his dog are also submitting images, it'll take up to the 24 hours. So okay. just try and be clever about when you do it. Yeah. So, um, man, have you guys reached out to property management software companies? Because this sounds like a really cool, like, do you guys have an API? Or are you planning on an API yeah. in the future? Yeah. Yeah, the APIs in the in the uh, throws have been made at, at the moment, and believe me, there is a significant queue of property management software 
who are looking very intently at when we finish the API. We're already in discussions with quite a few of them. So, yeah, we're pretty excited about that because we'd love it to just be a button, um, you know. On numerous websites well, where, you know. Anywhere. Yeah. You know, imagine you to the MLS and you've taken it yourself and you could go just box brownie it there. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, they're like, okay, we can market this property at normal level, but let's upgrade this one and we'll market, we'll do box brownie and check mark yeah. that box and, and do that. That that would be killer. So cool. Well, what else should people know about box brownie? Um, well, look, one of the edits that hasn't cracked the US yet, and I'm not, I'm mystified as to why. As an agent in Australia, if I'm marketing a property for sale or for lease or for rent, whatever you want to call it, um, and it's almost an automatic. And if you don't have a floor plan, people don't look at your buyers get upset. To be yeah, honest, they don't they don't look at your property. And that you know, buyers or tenants, um, I think there has been a rigorous um, education of the the people who are looking at property um, in Australia that that looking at a floor plan will actually tell you something about the property that's there. But look, that aside, where it really does help. Um, if you're trying to rent a property and the let's say the outside appears quite small, the only thing that is going to tell your prospective tenant from the internet or from in front of the property that the the property is actually quite substantial is a floor plan. Um, it's the only thing. And, and we, we do any kind of floor plan from a very basic 2D black and white to, to a 2D colour texture to a um, the, the little 3D dolls houses that where you can see exactly what's in there, where there's, you know, there's a bed in the, the place of a bed and whatever else. And they, they range from between sort of $24 up to uh, 36 is, is the price frame there. And, and their turnaround is nearly all of them 24 except for the 3D. So, look, I'd, I'd throw that out there. I, I know it's not a necessity here in, in the US, but... Point of difference, I yeah, think. Yeah, definitely. If you wanted to point a difference on your properties and you really wanted to stand out from the rest of the crowd, um, yeah. It's seriously so easy. Like, take a snapshot with your, you know, smartphone. Obviously, prefer to a builder's plans, which, you know, some owners may have. Snapshot on your phone, upload straight to us. Within reason, it's back the following day. If you don't have any plans, you can literally just draw like a mud map or a sketch, whether it's to scale or not. We've got disclaimers we can add in, so we can redraw your sketches as well. It's all on our website. Um, it's you know, it's quite mind blowing. That's fantastic. And so, yeah, I do see the value because um, some property managers are leveraging video to showcase and kind of give people a tour, but there's something about just seeing it from above and seeing what the layout of the floor plan actually is. that just makes it so much easier to make a decision Especially about it's, whether it's going to work for you. Yeah. And also to even just check that all their furniture is going to fit as well. And then just check they like the flow of the home. Cause I suppose if you've got a floor plan, it's a lot easier to remember if you don't. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, cool. we have two more. Two more edits if you yeah. got time. Yeah, tell us. Tell so us about that. One of them is edit. Yeah, one of them is a custom section. So anything that doesn't fit into the product that you heard about here, um, you upload to the custom site, you give us any of the input files. So it might be an image, it might be a floor plan, it might be whatever. You give us a description. I would like to see what this house would look like with the fence removed. We'll come back to you with a quote and a time frame very quickly, and you can either approve that or otherwise. So um, a lot of the custom section is the breeding ground for where we actually develop new products, like the, the virtual renovation product that we're just bringing out now that started in custom section, where a bunch of flippers came to us and said, you know what, it would be amazing if you could renovate this in this way. So that's the custom section, anything that you don't think is going to fit in. The, uh, the, the second one, which doesn't really apply to property managers, but maybe a tool that they wish to refer on, is our 3D render system. Now, we're quite proud of this. We won an Australian tech grant to develop an automated 3D render system. And what a 3D render is, is it's a photorealistic image or a 3D image of a property that doesn't exist. So um, you might have a... Uh, builders plans with elevations or a CAD file, you submit them to us, we create what the property would look like and, and you've got something to market when you've got something intangible in front of you. So it may be a new estate and there's a block of land sitting there, but they know what house they're going to put on it. We'll create the finished product so you can start marketing that to your property management. And it's cheap. It's $280. Yeah. Um, it, it's the turnarounds 
quick. It's all for, fully automated. Um, yeah. yeah, you can, you know, drag or you know, upload the architect files straight into our system. You know, it's a world first. It's so easy to builders, developers, just, they just love it because they don't have access to it. Yeah, so on that, it, it probably doesn't suit the property management clientele, but if they refer it to their builders or developers who are giving them the product, then they have something tangible to sell when they have a property that doesn't exist. Yeah, and there are a lot of property management companies yeah, that do get involved in remakes, they get involved in remodels, they might have you know, a maintenance team that, that you know, maintenance people asking for certain things to be added or removed, so this makes a lot of sense. Yep. Yeah. So you've you've got the full gamut of what Box Brownie currently does. We've got things in the pipeline. If you've got any product suggestions, email us. Um, our email address is hello at boxbrownie.com. Send us ideas. Send us um, feedback. Tell us what you'd like to see, um, where you'd like to see us go. Uh, you know, even if you've got suggestions for us as far as products are concerned, we're always listening. So. Yeah, we listen and we, we modify our system to suit. Um, got a lot of products coming. I don't know if we spoke about copywriting. No, no, we didn't. But um, that's another service we offer as well. Professional copywriting, which may or not, you know, may or may not be any use to your uh, listeners, but it's mm -hmm. always there. Upload a few photos. Let us know what landmarks are nearby, floor plan if need be. And, you know, within 24 hours, we'll give you some professional copywriting, which will just, you know, make you look awesome. So you'll write about the property, about the area to help them to be able to market it. Yep. Awesome. Now, That's really we cool. create all the marketing to make you look like a rock star just so you can go out and do your job better. Yeah, I see this as being a, a fantastic resource for a lot of different industries. So very cool. So, um, so again, people can get a hold of you guys by going to boxbrownie.com. Yep. And... Um, any any final last takeaways or anything you want to yes. share with, yeah, uh, with have, the audience? Yeah, I do have a takeaway for you. So any of your your listeners today um, who visit boxbrownie.com and sign up for free, they'll get a bunch of freebies anyway. There's a blue box in the corner where they can sign up for free. They enter their details. Once that 48 hours, if they add the code in all capital letters, no spaces, show me the money, They'll get forty dollars free credit to start them off, so you can try just about any of our our services straight up. So I'll repeat that for you: sign up for free in the top right after you visit boxbrownie.com. Once you've done that, go to the dashboard and enter where it says "Enter Coupon Code." Show me the money in capital letters with no spaces all together, and you'll get forty dollars credit to try. That's fantastic! All right, show me the money, guys. Just put Jeremy that. Boyle. And that, that's, yeah. that's fantastic. All right. Hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys coming on. I'm excited to see, um, get, get feedback and hear from, from you guys after, uh, some, some of us Americans start using your product and getting into this. <laughs> Sounds really yeah. cool. And, um, uh, thanks for, thanks for hanging out with us at, on such hey, a yeah. pleasure. Yeah. We, we really appreciate it. Flattered for you to have us on here. It's, it's great. It's we just, great. we just here to help any way we can. Awesome. Okay. Well, thanks guys. I'll let you go and um, everybody check out boxbrownie.com. And uh, I think this will be really cool to see. There's so many use cases I'm thinking off the top of my head, but it could be people um, you know, that have had disasters in their area that are about to do remodels. They can showcase what could be done. And that is so powerful in selling to somebody to get them to do that, to get them to pay the money to do that. And they'll say, yeah, yeah, oh, that looks incredible. I will do that, right? And so um, really it's this power of helping people envision potential I think is also very powerful. So really cool, boxbrownie.com and uh, we will end this. Bye everybody.